friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to do my November wrap-up. This wrap-up is going to be different than pretty much all of my other wrap-ups because I'm not going to go too much into detail because I have an exciting announcement. I launched a Patreon for my podcast, Talk Bookish to Me, and one of the things that I'm hoping to do over on the Patreon is share bonus episodes with my listeners. And one of the episodes that I want to start doing over there is my monthly reading wrap-ups. Because here on YouTube, a lot of the books that I talk about come from reading vlogs that I have already shared with you guys. So you kind of already know my thoughts about the majority of the books that I read and you can follow me on Goodreads and the Storygraph either or because I post reviews in both places. So if there is a book that I have read like follow me over there and read that review. It's basically all of my thoughts anyway. So I have kind of felt in the last few months or so that these videos, these wrap-ups are a little redundant for me, for you guys, because I've already talked to you guys about these books and I post my thoughts in other places on Instagram, the reads, the story grab, all of that. So I'm going to transition and do my monthly wrap-ups on Patreon. So please join my Patreon, become a night owl. Um, not only do you get like this wrap-up episode that I'm sitting here talking about, but you get behind the scenes stuff like my real life podcast stuff all of that but you get to help me choose books that I'm going to discuss on my podcast and there's a bunch of other perks you'll definitely have to check it out but I will link the patreon down below it's only five dollars a month which is the cost of one cup of coffee from like Starbucks or something like that so I don't think it's too much to ask to support me support this channel support my podcast podcast and go ahead and become a night owl. But let's go ahead and jump into the books that I read kind of like in October towards the end of October into November. And of course the month is not over yet so I probably will finish at least one more book. But we're going to talk about the ones that I have finished. In lessons I was reading this poetry collection when I talked to you last in my last wrap up and I ended up rating this three stars. This is by actress Lily Reinhardt and it was okay. It had some good ones. It had some not, you know, okay ones. Um, I did tab a couple here. I did like the illustrations in it. I did like that it covered a lot of topics like love, abuse, loss, moving on, finding yourself, all of that. So it was okay. I think if you're a really big fan of the actress that you should go ahead and pick it up. But other than that, you know, nothing to write home about. Um, then my first reading vlog that I did was for some holiday romances. So this is an example of where I pretty much went in depth of all of my thoughts on all of these. So I read A Season for Second Chances by Jenny Bayliss. And I absolutely love this cover. I absolutely loved this book. I rated it five out of five stars. It does have a romance in it, but it doesn't happen until pretty much towards the end of the novel. So you follow um, our main character who has caught her husband cheating on her again. She finally decides that enough is enough and she leaves him. Um, she leaves the city behind. She leaves her job. She works in a restaurant. Her and her husband like co-own this restaurant and stuff. She leaves all of that behind. She has two older grown children and she moves to this small seaside town and kind of is finding herself again, finding a new community, finding a new like found family, friends and all of that. It's really cozy, really nice. I really enjoyed it. Five out of five stars. Then I read Christmas Crazy in July and initially I was thinking two stars but I went ahead and bumped it down to one star because there wasn't really anything redeeming about this. It wasn't Christmassy at all. The story is basically like we had COVID and after COVID everybody's excited about Christmas. Why not celebrate Christmas in July? And I think there's like this one actress or influencer influencer that suggests it and kind of this town just kind of takes over and wants to celebrate Christmas. But literally the only thing that has to do with Christmas is that the main character in the very beginning is going to this sale, like a Black Friday sale. And that's really it. 
and the story basically takes off when she gets into like kind of an altercation in the store about this dress and she ends up like face planting in the mud and this old like crush of hers ends up seeing her and it's just kind of like what happened in the past and are they going to reconnect and stuff like that but there were just so many things that I didn't like about the story including that it had nothing to do with Christmas and the last book that I read in that vlog was The Holiday Swap by Maggie Knox which is actually the pen name of two authors. This is the story of two twin sisters that for their own reasons are kind of like sick of their own lives or need a chance to get out of their own life for a little bit. So they do something that they used to do as kids and they swap places. But of course, as adults, this has like different kind of consequences. So one is working in LA. She is a co-host of this baking show and she ends up getting a concussion and she can't taste or smell anymore. So she needs to leave and have her sister take her place because she doesn't want to ruin this opportunity that's on the horizon and then her sister is just kind of stuck in their family bake shop and just kind of doing the day in day out thing so they swap places they end up connecting with guys in their sister's lives and yeah it's just kind of two romances in one. I thought it was really cute. I rated this one 3.5 stars. All right, and the other one I'm gonna talk a little bit more about is The Kitchen Front by Jennifer Ryan. This was one of my most anticipated books of the year, and I thought it would be really fun to read right around, you know, Thanksgiving time, and I did pick it up. I did start it. Um, I don't know how far I made into it, but I ended up DNFing this just because I wasn't getting into the writing. Um, I always would like to think like, oh, I'm gonna get back to it but honestly like if it wasn't holding my attention I never wanted to pick it up when I was actually reading it I was kind of like avoiding it almost um, it just wasn't pulling my attention so I think I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go and pass it on to someone that may really enjoy it but it is about this show called The Kitchen Front and they are hosting like I think it's on the BBC and um, it's during like rationing times and stuff like that of World War II and they're um having this contest where these women are applying to be the co-host and they like make all these dishes and all these women come from different backgrounds and stuff like that it sounded really good it has um different recipes in it and stuff like that uh but yeah this one just the writing was not for me so i'm gonna go ahead and let that one go um, the next stack of books are all the ones that I technically did read in the month of November um, and you will see that I actually didn't read like too much this month and a lot of it was because I have found out that I have become so dependent on audiobooks that it really does shape what I read even if I'm really really interested in a book like for example in my dreams I hold a knife I put this off for so long because it doesn't have an audiobook and that's just not really that smart. So I went ahead and read some books that did not have audiobooks this month and that's something I'm going to work on moving into the new year. Um, the next three books are also um, holiday romances. These are all diverse holiday romances and I did a reading vlog for all three of these. I read Royal Holiday by Jasmine Guillory. I rated this one three stars. Um, the author is a person of color. It follows black main characters. Um, it also is a like senior romance like these main characters are in their 50s so I thought that was very different and overall it was okay. I wish it had more holiday vibes. I wish I would have felt the connection between the characters a little bit more but it was cute. I also read a Holly Jolly Diwali which I really wanted to love you guys. Um, I ended up rating this two stars but a lot of people are rating it much higher but I just found it very like I don't know demeaning towards India and the culture and I don't know it was just it was so odd that <laughs> that would be in this book by this author and these characters so yeah um not the best like experience but I mean it read quickly I did learn a lot but a lot of that was thanks to myself and then the last book I read in that vlog was The Matzo Ball by Jean Meltzer and I loved this book I rated it four out of five stars I'm definitely excited about Jean Meltzer's next book um this one is uh one that will stick with me for a very long time it's the first Hanukkah romance I ever read it also taught me a lot about chronic fatigue syndrome 
them and I don't know it was just a really cute romance and it wasn't like so cute or so like smutty it was more like a soulmate story so I really liked this one and I highly recommend the other books are ones that I have not shared with you yet um, and you will hear more of my thoughts if you hop over join the patreon and want to hear the episode but I'll go ahead and tell you what books they are and what I rated them the shopping by Tessa Bailey and I rated this one three out of five stars I read the heart principle by Helen Wong one of my most anticipated books of the year and I rated this one five out of five stars I read watch over me by Nina LaCour and I rated this four out of five stars I read In My Dreams, I Hold a Knife by Ashley Winstead, and I rated this one four out of five stars. And last but not least, I read The Santa Suit by Mary Kay Andrews, and I rated this one four out of five stars as well. So these are all of the books that I read towards the end of October and here in November. If you want to hear more of my in-depth thoughts on some of those books that you didn't hear about? jump over to my Patreon, join. It's just $5 a month and you can check that out. And then I will pretty much do this same thing in December for my December wrap up. And then starting in January, there will be no wrap ups on this channel anymore. Um, it will be solely for my Patreons. Um, but yeah, for only $5 a month, you can check out all of my thoughts over there or you can check Goodreads and the Storygraph. But that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're all having a lovely day or night and I'll see you guys again in another video very soon. Bye!